This activity can be found at www.viznos.com or using the web app, which you can see loaded here. The web app can be found in the Chrome Web Store, requires a Chrome web browser. So I'm going to be talking about random spinners, which I launch by clicking here. We start off the activity in settings mode. Settings mode allows you to change certain things about the spinners. So you can change the number of sides from 2 up to 12. Um, you can also change the number of spinners. So I'm going to change that to 4. And as in all the activities of Viznos, when you move over a control, you'll see in this top bar a message tells you what the actual uh, what the actual control will do. You can also find information about the activity by clicking this eye icon, and I'll tell you what things do and point to the actual controls in the text. You'll also usually find the video icon here, but as this video is being made, it's not there yet. So you can use the spinners in your probability lessons. You'll probably just start off with one. Maybe you can change the number of sides. But that's not what I'm going to actually be talking about here. So there are a number of built-in activities. Uh, these are ideal for classroom uh, lesson starters. Or at the end of a uh, class, if you've got a little bit of time left over. So the first one we're going to look at is find the rule. So you've got this timer here, which you can set to a particular given time. Let's do this for 30 seconds. So I'm going to spin the spinners. And the idea in this game is to reach this number here, 62, the target number, using these values and you have to use them once and once only and you have to use addition, subtraction and multiplication. So I think I might have the answer here. So we're looking at 3 times 4 would give you 12, 12 times 5 would give you 60, add 2 gives you 62 and I've beaten the time. To reveal how the computer did it, which might not necessarily be the same way, you click here. So they have more or less done it the same way, 5 times 3 is 15 times by 4 is 60 plus 2 gives you 62. Okay, so that's the find the rule activity. So the next mode is calculate. So in this case, we use the values of the spinners to actually form a calculation. So I'm going to change the time limit to 30 and see if I can get the answer in that time. So let's spin. So it's used these values here to produce a sum, which is 3 plus 2 plus 5 times by 4. So if you know bod mass, you'll know you have to do the multiplication first. So that's 20. 3 plus 2 is 5. So 25 is the answer. You can check that by revealing. And I'm correct. So the final mode to consider is substitute. In substitute, you get given an algebraic expression and you substitute the values of the um, spinners in. So I've upped the ante a little bit here. I've increased all the spinners so they have 12 sides. And then you have this key here, uh, this button, which at the moment is um, off, which means you don't get any negative results. I'm going to turn that on. So that means you can get a negative result, although as the problems are produced randomly, there's no guarantee. So let's spin and see what's produced. So the substitution is B subtract in brackets, A subtract C, close brackets, subtract D. So in this case, B is 3, um, A is going to be 6, subtract C, which is 2, subtract D, which is 5. So when you have the substitution done, you can then reveal it. So here we have it, um, 3 subtract in brackets, 6 subtract 2, close brackets, subtract 5. So we need to do the brackets first, so 6 take away 2 is 4, so that leaves us the expression 3 subtract 4, which is negative 1, subtract 5, which is negative 6. So with um, the four spinners having 12 sides, you are more than likely to get a, a trickier problem. Not always. Anyway, I think that's uh, everything to be covered today, so uh, thanks for watching.